Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here today with the Cattle and Bread Cloak Reverb and Shimmer. It's their newest reverb pedal, and obviously it has Shimmer in it. Uh, you could guess if you didn't, if you didn't, if and you didn't guess by that their name. It is a room reverb with Shimmer and a um, low pass filter. Hum low pass filter. Uh, almost said the wrong thing there. Caught myself. Um, so let's um, talk about the controls there. We'll start with the mix. It goes from 100% uh, dry to 100% wet. Uh, I'll have it in the middle for most of the demo. I will, of course, show you what it sounds like with it at 100% wet, basically kill dry. It's really nice that they give you that kind of range. Um, the uh, reverb is, it simultaneously adjusts both the decay length um, with a bit of a gain enhancement uh, for more natural sort of decay. Um, I'll start with it basically at nothing and I'll slowly fade it up and then I'll slowly add the shimmer. Speaking of that, uh, it mixes the, just adds shimmer. So fully counterclockwise gives you just room and uh, that's all the way to the left. Cranking it to the right gives you a harmo harmonically rich shimmer. Uh, then the low pass uh, filter according to what they sent me Quote, cuts higher order harmonics from the signal to soften the edges at higher shimmer settings. I will ignore that. Um, before I put in the shimmer because it doesn't really do anything uh, to my understanding and to my ear. Otherwise, I'm using my Tone Master Super Reverb. Uh, as you can hear right now, have no reverb on. So there you go. Let me look at my settings. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much in the middle, pretty much in the middle there. I had, I just gigged with this, so when I got it home, the, the knobs were a little wild. <laughs> so, uh, I fixed that for you. Don't worry too much. This was sent to me in exchange for a demo. I'm playing um, my Yamaha Revstar. And uh, again, that super reverb, Tone Master super reverb, playing kind, kind of clean. And if I have time, I will see how this sounds through a baritone guitar. I'm hoping I have time. With the reverb basically at zero now. So even all the way, and that is indeed turned all the way down. We're still getting some sound at that 50% wet mark. I'm just gonna keep saying wet. We're gonna turn it to about nine o'clock. That's a big difference from noon to three, so let's hear that again. Try it at about one o'clock. Okay. Get to about two o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, so the difference does become a lot more significant.
Okay, so it's not quite like an infinite type of hole or, or trail there. But it's a it's pretty a pretty long trail. All right, I'm gonna turn the mix back, uh, not the mix, I'm gonna turn the reverb effect back down as I start to blend in the shimmer. I'm gonna start with the shimmer at about nine and just see what we get there. <laughs> that's not, you know, it's, that's, that's pretty subtle. That's pretty subtle, let me get my fingers. It's just one of those little octopus chords. It does feel a lot like, it does feel like a harmonic. Very subtle. If we turn it up when it's that low, what's it gonna sound like? but it still sounds very cramped because the reverb is set so low. It sounds kind of warbly. I really dig it. Kind of a banana sort of setting. Start that low pass filter. Really turn that up all the way and see what it, if it tames it more. Just what's the what's the point when it's like at that setting? Obviously, when you turn up the room reverb and the shimmer, I think you're gonna have a lot. Let's try it with the room reverb and the shimmer at about nine o'clock. Those are both going to be subtle. I'm not, I've been having fun with that chord. I don't know why. I'm going to do something with it. Between 12 and 3 is when the room reverb really takes off, so to say. So let's get it to about like 2 o'clock, uh, keeping that shimmer kind of tame and see what happens. shimmer at that rate but it can get really subtle so that's really nice
And as the reverb and everything gets bigger, uh, throwing in that low pass filter is going to tame it. <laughs> So if you think shimmer can sound really harsh, and um, I tend to think it can, that really mellows it out. Like when you really want to put in a lot of shimmer to add a little, add some like harmonic, harmonic, like ethereal vibe to a reverb, this is great. Um, but sometimes it can add a harshness to it also, which really can, can, can vibe poorly in a mix, um, but cutting out some of those highs is a great solution for that. And Cloak does that. <laughs> Adjust this cable. Let's see if it keeps that pedal straighter. So last but not least, I'm just going to crank everything for funsies. And uh, then I'm going to sweep that low pass filter and just hear the difference. So I'm even cranking the mix so we can hear just the 100% effect so you can really hear how that filter impacts it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I also, uh, after playing that, I, I wanted to hear how this reverb sounded on, 
On the baritone guitar, I have my Squire Cabernita Paranormal Series baritone. I'm going to stick with the middle position for this. I bought this guitar. <laughs> shimmer. I like baritone as almost percussive instruments sometimes. low cut filter on this too much I, I don't I don't feel like you would need it as much just because it, I felt like it was more beneficial for playing on those higher strings that took out a little bit of the magic so I I mean yeah call a low cut it's a low pass filter off obviously Normally I just like a spring reverb on baritone guitar, but I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up on uh, baritone guitar for sure. Stick around for my thoughts on the six string. I'm going to go back to it. It's going to be magic. 
Obviously, I'm going to snap again. It's going to be magic. I think this is one of the more versatile shimmer petals I've played. Uh, I don't play a lot of shimmer reverb, so it's been a, a fun time really figuring this one out. Uh, and I think that Cal and Brett has really made it easy. Um, different parts of that filter are going to really help you in different parts of the mix. Uh, in different parts of the fretboard. I think you're going to use it more if you're playing higher up. Those, those, the, those notes, they, they're gonna sound, they can sound shrill. They, they really can. And this can help you really get out of that um, if you found other shimmers to be too, too shrill. <laughs> So I think it's been a, a really fun time. I've had a really fun time playing this pedal. Uh, I think that as far as shimmer reverbs go, um, it's it's been more. It's been a lot more versatile. Uh, I I think it's definitely great for anyone who's trying to get some ethereal reverb into their playing, but also still wants to have just a nice good sounding room reverb on their pedal board. Uh, this does that um, and more, obviously. So uh, check it out, it's available now. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for understanding. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Check out more information and links in the video description. Uh, until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.